What's up my dudes, today I'm gonna to be showing you how you can use a PlayStation 4 controller wirelessly on your PC to play pretty much any game that supports a controller. If you want to see the wired method of doing this, I actually did a separate video on it in the past. Here's the annotation for it and I'll link it down in the description as well. As always, if you find the video helpful or entertaining, be sure to like it and subscribe to the channel. Helps out a lot man. And without further ado, let's get into it. That's what she said. First up, you're gonna to need to download DS4 Windows. This is the program that is gonna be emulating your PlayStation 4 controller to work on your PC. I'll leave this link in the description, just click on download now and it's gonna take you to the page which is gonna show you the latest version on the top. Now here you have the option to either download a 7z or a zip file for both 32-bit and 64-bit systems. If you're not sure whether you're on a 64-bit or a 32-bit system, you can check that by just going to the file explorer, right clicking on this PC and clicking on properties. Now here under system type it's gonna show you what type of operating system you have. I have a 64-bit operating system so I'm gonna be downloading the x64 zip file. Just save it. Now once you've downloaded the zip file open it and extract it to your desired location now you have to browse to where you save ds4 windows on your pc and open ds4 windows it's gonna open up like this and you're gonna see this ui i'm just gonna bring it to controllers now next up while we have this open you have to go to the bluetooth settings of your pc some of you are gonna have this icon to directly go to it in your taskbar if you don't you can open up the start menu and search for bluetooth and it's gonna be the first option here you just have to go to add bluetooth or other device and select the first option that is bluetooth to search for available bluetooth Bluetooth devices. Now what you need to do is get your PlayStation 4 controller and hold the share and the PlayStation button at the same time for a few seconds. Yeah, when you do this, you're gonna see this white light flashing here and when it does, head over to your PC, select Bluetooth and it's gonna find the controller. Yep, it says wireless controller right here. Select it and it's gonna start connecting to it. Now already, as you can see, because we had the DS4 Windows program loaded up in the background, DS4 Windows automatically recognized that a controller has been connected and started emulating it. That's why we got the blue light here, just like you do on an actual PlayStation 4. Really quick tip here to maximize your convenience with DS4 Windows, go to DS4 Windows settings browse to the right side and you're gonna see an option that says close minimizes so if you accidentally hit the close button here it will only minimize the program otherwise it closes it and the emulation on the controller stops so now that we have connected the PlayStation 4 controller to the PC I'm gonna show you some gameplay of Forza Horizon 4 to show that this actually works and all that effort was not for nothing unlike your past relationships so here we are in the game and even from the beginning you can see that it shows Xbox buttons because the controller is being emulated as an Xbox controller to work with every single damn game on PC. So yes, you are gonna need to be a little bit familiar with an Xbox controller. Now as you can see, R2 works as RT, R1 works as RB. Yeah, basically it works like an Xbox controller. My god, this Aston Martin is gonna take some damage. This game is like practically a racing masterpiece, man. I don't know how Forza Horizon 5 has managed to top it. So yeah, that's pretty much how you wirelessly use a PlayStation 4 controller on your PC. Now some other things that you should know before clicking off this video are, a lot of the more modern games, not all of them, are gonna be natively supporting the PlayStation 4 controller either way, so you don't even need to use DS4 Windows in a case like that. All you have to do is pair up your PlayStation controller via Bluetooth to the PC like I showed you. And secondly, if you want to connect your PlayStation 4 controller back to your PlayStation 4, you have to use the USB cable once to pair them up before you start using the PlayStation 4 controller wirelessly again with your PlayStation 4 because the PlayStation 4 controller by default tries to connect to the last connected device so yeah if you're switching to the PC again you are going to need to pair the controller up with the PC again and I already told you about using the wire once to pair it up with your PlayStation 4 so thank you all so much for watching this video till the end if you enjoyed be sure to like share subscribe and hit the bell notification icon so that you may never miss out on any future content some of my other videos are on your screen right now including my latest track flip the script which is streaming on all platforms consider checking them out as well and I'll see you next time. Bye.